Et l'on se retrouve donc pour l'interview de Patterson. Patterson by Jim Jarmus and it is a great pleasure for me to welcome Jim Jarmus here. Thank you for being here again in Cannes with this wonderful couple, Goldshift Farahani. Thank you for being here and hello Adam Driver. Thank you for being with us. We're going to try to get the translation to uh, function pro properly. A uh, wonderful uh, couple uh, for the cinema. Before we talk about the film itself, how did you think of Adam Driver and Goldschiff de Farahani to make this film? Um, why? Yes. Well, why Goldschiff de? Why? Uh, I just found them f fantastic, uh, my favorite possible actors for these characters that were written. And so I approached them and mm -hmm. very luckily they uh, agreed to be in the film. So I, they both had uh, qualities quite close in some ways to the characters, mm -hmm. uh, but they're also obviously just wonderful actors whose work I admire. So. Comment vous a approché justement Jim Jarmusch? How did uh, Jim Jarmusch approach you? What did he say? Because you do look like you are very much like this character. Who is very creative. You are an artist, a musician. What did he tell you? First, it was a dream for me when he asked me. He's been an idol for me since I was 12 years old. And when he came to see me, I could hardly believe it. I thought it was a miracle. And then he told me he wanted to write a love story. That was the most important thing for him, the love between the two characters. And that's it. Adam Driver, and Adam Driver, what did Jim Jarmusch mean for you? Were you familiar with his cinema, with his films? Oh, yeah, very much so. I remember driving an hour and a half uh, to like the only art cinema in the Midwest to see coffee and cigarettes when it first came out. Any, anything that he made, I tried to watch and get my hands on. It didn't really take like convincing mm -hmm. at all. Um, I think just just sitting, I was already convinced. Just um, you know, if he was doing a commercial about I don't know bamboo in in Australia, I'd want to do it. <laughs> Good shift. nous disait Jim que c'est une histoire d'amour. Good shift was saying that this is above all a love story. It's a simple, clear, luminous love story without drama. Yes, it's certainly. Uh, a, a large part of the story is the love story between two people who uh, accept each other for exactly who they are. And so there's no conflict in this film. It's a very tender story between mm. them. And it's also the story of a, a poet who is also a working class bus driver, mm. uh, someone who likes to just let images and, I don't know, things he observes and hears enter him he's very mm -hmm. observational so it's a a quiet film really about people who make a choice to live the way they choose mm -hmm. and regardless of the you know necess necessities of having a job each day mm -hmm. or, or whatever they still choose the way they live and uh, it's a very quiet story really about in, in that about that and a love story also mm -hmm. I, d I don't know how to describe it. Mais vous le racontez très bien, Adam Driver, justement. But you describe it very well, uh, Adam Driver, for this so uh, working class uh, character, a bus driver who drives a bus every day, who makes, who has chosen this, and who finds something through poetry. Is this the kind of choice you too could have made uh, when you discovered this character? Patterson, is this kind the kind of life you could have had with uh, a bus driver's job and this touch of artistry, of art? Um, I'm, yes, I think. Uh, I, I, I didn't think of it more of, um, I guess the fact that he was a bus driver was, um, 
not immaterial, but it, for me it was more the that he structured his life uh, in such a way that allowed him to, and this is something that Jim said from the very beginning, that it's like allowed him to drift and, and to not, because everything else in his life was structured to let him kind of uh, be uh, a fly on the wall and let his imagination go. And th that for me, uh, I feel like I understand. You try to, um, I mean, I do it to a fault, try to have things very structured in your life so in work you can um, be more free to do what you want. But th there's, there's trap in that where you try to control everything in life and it's, it's uh, trying to control an uncontrollable thing. The end. Non, c'est intéressant ce que vous dites là sur le fait d'avoir une. Very interesting what you're saying to structure your life to uh, let you uh, look at other things. Uh, is this uh, something that uh, you too understand? Yes, this is what Jim is like. Uh, people who can live in the present and. Laura and Patterson, the two characters, are able to enjoy things. Uh, Patterson, it's more internal inside him, and Laura, it's more outside. She does lots of things. She goes from one thing to another. But they have their own space, and they love each other for what they really are, and they have a great deal of respect for each other, and they give each other a lot of freedom, and uh, they make poetry, they see poetry in what is ordinary. They have a not rather ordinary life, but they live it with love and poetry. Poetry on a in daily life, no dramatic tension, no drama. But when you watch the film, you expect something terrible to happen with the bus and the bar where uh, Patterson goes regularly, and you expect something terrible to happen. But there isn't anything like that. Why did you want to avoid this kind of uh, I don't know. Drama? I just think that it I just wanted to make, we wanted to make a film that was a kind of antidote to drama, action, excitement, and um, there's not conflict, uh, so it's a very observational film about, well, I love, in all forms of expression, I love variations uh, in music, in art, in cinema, so this film, its whole structure is just little variations of daily life, of the days of the week. The film takes place over seven days. So it's each day of our lives is just like a, a small variation from the previous day. And so it's a kind of just intended to be a kind of celebration of small details of, mm. of life. It's true that you uh, have always liked these small details of life. I remember coffee and cigarettes, and there are certain shots in your film. But what why did you take this choose this Patterson? Why did you choose 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 Patterson? Why did you rarely spoken of, a uh, very kind of forgotten city, very uh, ethnically diverse mm. city, incredible di diversity of different types of people, a uh, very fascinating history from the Industrial Revolution, a model city uh, based on the waterfalls that provided energy for early industry, mm. and then this strange uh, history of poets, of William Carlos Williams, uh, who was a doctor, actually, and wrote really? poetry on the side. Or uh, Allen Ginsberg was, uh, grew up in Patterson. Uh, so there, it's just kind of a very odd city with a lot of mm. unusual people who came from there. Mm. Uh, Reuben Hurricane Carter, the famous really? boxer. Ah, oui. um, Lou Costello, a comedian. <laughs> so lots of strange things from Patterson. I don't know mm. why, I just kept gathering little facts about this odd little city. 
Et c'est vrai qu'on voit ce Hall of Fame dans, And dans le bar. Et c'est vrai que le Hall of Fame dans le bar, vous montrez aussi dans votre jeu. Did this city inspire you, Adam Driver, in the character Patterson with the same name as the town? Did you know the city? Were you inspired by this journey through this Patterson in your acting career? Uh, I w didn't know anything about it, and I just got interested in it through well, Jim, because we were working on it. But him kind of unfolding this history, it does seem uh, not random, but uh, like you, uh, Alexander Hamilton, you know, they like have a whole play that's uh, about it right now, and there's a big statue. I just didn't know the, I didn't know, I wasn't aware of the history at all. So I'm just hearing it through Jim and reading about it for this movie, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have anything to add to that. Mais moi, ce que je voulais, ce que je voulais savoir, si c'est le fait d'avoir si le fait d'avoir shot the film in this film in the city, playing this poet, if this inspired you for the character you played, did being in the city inspire you to play the character Patterson? Yeah, there's a lot of information that you get from it, where you'll see maybe a dilapidated building next to something that's like this new, renovated, you know, beautiful next to this beautiful waterfall next to something else that's run down it's um we didn't get to shoot there as much as i think that we all probably wanted i th i don't know how many days total but um even being there in the bus depot the bus depot mm -hmm. was in patterson it just i don't know i don't think i maybe articulated it to myself at the time but the, obviously kind of a space and a surrounding just gives you a lot of information Uh, but more of a, a working class environment, I think, mm. is what I picked up from, from being there. Tout à fait. Goldshift Farahani, vous êtes surtout dans la. Goldshift Farahani, you are mostly in your home in the film, but you must have discovered something of the environment of the uh, city. What were you familiar with Patterson and its poets? No. Uh, I did go back afterwards because Laura's world is in her home. Her own world is. Uh, Where she lives. Oui, oui, il a la, oui. il a la traduction. Wow, génial, génial. He has a translation. And I think Laura's world is inside the home, and she builds her life uh, indoors with the fabrics and the cupcakes and the. Cooking and Patterson tends to be outdoors, and he takes in all the information from the outdoors. And uh, so he goes back to Laura, who's Life is indoors, and this uh, creates things. And of course, Laura does go to sell her cupcakes, and she receives musicians. But I wanted to ask if you had been there. Oh, yes, I went back there. It's a very strange city, surprising city. You don't know if it's uh, depressed or poetic or aggressive. It's a mixture of many different things. And I think this is uh, why it inspired uh, many people to become artists, because you have a strange feeling in the city. That's what I wanted to hear you say. I was sure you would answer that way. Thank you so much, Adam Driver.